It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I was in Lidl recently and picked up some brand new Red Hen Gastro Hot and Spicy Chicken Strips. Uh, these are cooked from frozen, 22 minutes. Interestingly, is there any air fryer instructions? No, still only cooking, oven cooking instructions here. Gas Max 6 or between 200 and 180 degrees Celsius ovens, whatever electric oven you have. But I'm interested because this type of food is so much better in the air fryer. So I'm gonna, of course, use the air fryer for this. But it's funny, isn't it? Air fryers have been out. In fact, I bought this very air fryer in Lidl. Cost me 40 quid a few years ago but they got no air fryer instructions on their food. I find that quite marvellous. The only company that really, or the only supermarket that really offers air fryer instructions is Iceland, where we just picked up some of their chicken gravy, Southern fried chicken gravy. That was £1.50 for the pot. Uh, of course, Iceland being frozen. It goes in the microwave for six minutes. Yeah, six minutes on and 30 seconds on an 800 watt microwave. And the chicken strips, they were three pound 50. Three pound 50 for 600 grams. Whoa, the price of food is like, oh, at the moment, isn't it? Right, so. Starving. And I'm probably the only person in the household that likes hot and spicy food. So this gives me free reign to pile these damn things in. That'll probably do me. So 22 minutes for a conventional oven, I reckon. I reckon I'll have these done in 20. I'm going to go away now whilst these are cooking. Put the chicken gravy in the microwave with about six minutes to go on the air fryer and I'll be back when all this super looking food is cooked. Okay, this food is ready. Oh, oh. Look at that, 18 minutes. I turned it off for two minutes to go. 18 minutes in the air fryer has absolutely demolished these chicken strips. And of course, I've decided, or I did decide, I I know this sounds funny, but the older I get, the more I don't want to put plastic in a microwave or plastic in an oven. So what I did, I grabbed the uh, inside of the, well, the gravy, the hard frozen gravy, and I literally pulled it out of the plastic pot and put it in a pan. And I put it on the hob. It took a lot longer, it took me 10 minutes because I had to break it down slowly, but I'd much prefer that than to cook heat plastics at high temperature. So, here we go then. Let's show you, shall we? So I'm just gonna go straight in with this. Southern fried. I've got a feeling I've done this before. Southern fried gravy, hot and spicy chicken strips. I should have got a fork, I've got a spoon. I got a spoon for the gravy. But here we go then. Hmm. Hot. Right, how hot and spicy is hot and spicy? I 
they're not bad. They're not bad. By putting it in the air fryer, I created like a popcorn chicken type effect. It's really crispy, the batter. And there's a little bit of heat there. I don't think it's gonna blow your face off, but it's definitely, how I perceive spice is how I look at spice with my own family. Wife, three kids. I know as I'm showing you I know that I love this level of spice it's warming I find it so flavoursome I almost find food boring now without spice. But there's two, well there's three levels of spice. There's blow your face off spice, like your ghost pepper, your Carolina Reaper, all these other things. There's this level of hot and spicy, which I like it. Wife and kids won't. The wife and kid, this would be way too hot for the wife and kids. Way too hot. If I cooked them these, if I said, kids, I just cooked you some chicken strips. I mean, what? Kids love chicken strips, don't they? If I put these in front of the kids, like, they'd struggle. They'd really struggle to eat them. Same with my wife. So... There are three levels of spice, really. Bonkers hot, ghost pepper, Carolina Reaper. Acceptable level for me. Not so much for the wife and kids. And then probably, yeah, no spice at all. <laughs> That's the next level down there. So I'm going to put them in the middle. I like them. Nice burn on the inside of the cheeks. Chicken's lovely. Chicken's really tasty. The hot and spicy batter is really tasty. And they're all round, they're all round good chicken strips. Price of food, I could talk about the price of food to you. It wasn't that long ago. Wasn't that long ago at all, where you could go to Little and Aldi, you could buy a bag of these chicken strips, chicken nuggets, call them what you like, chicken goujons. They were about two pound a bag. And that was for a long, long time. Two pound a bag, loads of chicken strips. All of a sudden, three pound fifty. I suppose everything's jumped up, haven't it? Um, I think... The fact is now, the fact is, what I've noticed throughout my life is when things like food go up, they never come back down again. Um, as hard as this is, I, th I think it's a case of all kind of like, hopefully our wages catches up, hopefully our kind of businesses and our wages catches up with it all and it kind of, all of a sudden £3.50 becomes a norm and your wages covered it quite nicely. It's not nice. Inflation's not a nice thing. But it happens. It, I've been through inflationary cycles probably four times in my life. Big jumps. First one, chip shop, potato farmer. Chip shops went from chips at 30 pence to chips to 60 pence. They doubled in price. And I remember all the neighbours moaning. All the neighbours, everybody around the area moaning. They've got to pay 60 pence for a bag of chips. Infuriated. But if you think of 60 pence now, as a 44 year old man, 60 pence now for a bag of chips, you'd snap your hands off, wouldn't you? You'd absolutely snap their hands off because your wages is higher. Um, let's get to the gravy. What is it now for a bag of chips in a chip shop? £2.50? I think £2.50 for chips now. 
Frighteningly high, isn't it? Right, gravy. Southern fried gravy. It's very stock-like, if I'm honest. It's definitely chicken gravy. It's definitely, let's get some out of the pan. Yeah, it's like a funny type of really thick oxo cube. Yeah, it's a really thick, gloopy, like you put it, you mix in about 10 chicken oxo cubes into a jar and it's really kind of thick and gloopy. But that's the Southern fried way. That's the kind of the Southern, Southern gravy. That's what they call them there. Southern KFC style gravy. Does it work? Does it all work together? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Absolutely it does. Love it. So I'm ready to rate all of this then. Starting off with the gravy. <clears throat> it's decent. It's decent. I think you've got to love this kind of southern fried gravy type thing. It definitely works with the chicken strips. Definitely works with the chicken strips. So, using it with chicken strips, as you would from KFC. Yeah, it's an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for Iceland southern fried gravy. Lidl's hot and spicy chicken strips, my mouth is purring with heat. It's a constant kind of like, whoa, back of the throat, cheeks, lovely, lovely levels of spice. Really good levels of spice. Nice chicken. Decent food. Mm. Finger licking good, isn't it? I like the chicken strips enough. Even though they were £3.50, they're blooming good quality. They are a really good quality chicken strip. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.